Hello, fighters, survivors, and thrivers. Welcome to the Cancer Show. It is Thankful Thursday, and this day just like, boom, went so quickly. I can't believe this. I feel like I just got up, and now it's almost time to go to bed. So I wanted to get this um, Thankful Thursday in before the clock strikes 12. Um, okay, so today I want to talk about music. I'm so grateful for music. Um, in regards to my treatment. I mean, in general, of course, I love music. I love dancing. I think you already know that by now. I love to dance and I love to sing, even though, you know, I could probably use a couple singing lessons, but never mind. I sing anyways, because I like it. That's kind of like the sad thing about karaoke. Like you can't really do karaoke unless you're you know, with your uh, group of friends who are super cool and they don't mind somebody getting up there and just like actually singing, um, who's not a great singer, but now it care, and, you know, when, well, I haven't been to karaoke in a very long time, but I can remember when I did go, um, the people that would get up and sing were like professionals. Yeah. I'm not going to go up after that unless I've had couple cocktails and maybe somebody's going to go up there and sing with me. Or maybe I would go along. I did go along one time in Hawaii. That was fun. Anyways, um, music, you know, music is an equalizer, connector, you know, you go to a concert, you don't know what the people next to you, like your best friends by the time the concert's over. <laughs> it's unity. It brings us together. Music brings us together people together. Madonna. Yes. Um, so I just want to talk about my songs, my survivor songs when, um, I was going through treatment. Um, so all these songs, all of them are about relationships. Most songs are about, you know, relationships and, um, or, or, you know, joyful things or sad things, but most songs are about relationships and these are all, all of these songs that I'm going to mention are mostly about relationships, but I just would like substitute the relationship with the cancer, the struggle. And, um, I would just reword those, you know, the, the, um, the premise, I would just reword it or like, um, you know, think of it in a different way than a relationship, the relationship was the cancer. So the first song that I started singing, like literally the day that I was uh, diagnosed is I am woman, hear me roar. Um, and numbers too big to ignore. <laughs> and that's Helen Reddy. And that is a, uh, you know, it's like a, it's like the national anthem for, you know, females for, you know, the mo the woman, mo the woman's movement and, um, you know, uh, unity and standing up for, you know, f rights, our rights and equality. And, you know, that's, that is the song that is the song. And, um, it's, it's a fabulous song, but it, it has so many things in there that resonated with me during my treatment. Like, you know, when she's, she's talking about, you know, I'm not a novice anymore. You know, I've been down on the floor. I'm going to get back up again. Um, you know, it's just, it was just like every, every part of that song, I could like equate it to my journey. Um, so I am woman, hear me roar. That was the first song. And I remember like making my bed because when you first get diagnosed, you're kind of like in this fuzzy, filmy state of like, what the heck is going on? <laughs> and is this really happening? So you have those like two things like, you know, up against each other. Um, so I just remember making my bed, making my bed and singing that song. Um, and I, I can, I can see myself right now. And that song gave me, gave me power, you know, it, like, inspired me and I even posted it. I posted it on my Facebook the very beginning when I was using Facebook and, um, and I, I think I broke it down. I broke it down for my friends, like how each, each, uh, each part of the song resonated with me. 
So, yeah, maybe I'll try to find that and share that with you. I'd like to read that myself again. Anyways, okay, so that was my first song. The second one was Stronger by Kelly Clarkson. Um, huge theme for anything that you're going through. She, of course, is talking about a relationship. Um, but again, I just put cancer in place of the boyfriend or the husband or whatever it was in her. And, you know, she was referring to. And, you know, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. Do we have to say anything more? What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Oh, does it ever. Stronger than ever before. We're like superheroes when we finish that. When we finish our treatment. Just step into your superhero shoes and put in your superhero cape. Cape. Because you just beat cancer. You just like fought death. And you won. You beat it. You put the best fight that you had in you up against the most evil opponent so when you're going through that treatment your treatment or you just finished it or even now when you're thriving I'm thriving I listen to it I still listen to it I love that song stronger what doesn't kill us make makes us stronger okay so the lower you go the stronger you are remember that the lower you go the stronger you will become because you got to get up. You got to get up from the bottom. You got to get up. You got to crawl your way up. You got to dig. You got to, you got to fight for it. You know, you got to fight for it. That takes energy and strength and passion, commitment, dedication, And when you do it, when you accomplish it, when you beat it, you're a superhero. What doesn't kill you makes you stronger. Facts. Okay, let's see. The next one was um, old school. So hit the road, Jack. <laughs> by Ray Charles. I love that one too. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. Hit the road, Jack. And don't you come back no more. That's a really fun song to sing. Um, so, it's pretty basic. Like, hit the road, cancer. We don't need to know more. Like, yeah. Uh, you know, anything you can say to me, I'm not going to listen to that. Okay? I'm not going to listen to that voice in my head. No, no I'm not going to do that. We're going to fight it. Mm -mm. We're going to block it. We're going to listen. We're going to take that thought. We're going to throw it away. We're going to replace it with a powerful thought. With a thought that will energize us. That will lift us up. That will motivate us. We're not going to, we're not going to like fold. We're not going to fold like a deck of cards. Oh no, we're not going to do that. Uh-uh. So you know what, Cancer? Just hit the road. Okay. Hit the road, Cancer. Don't you come back no more, no more, no more, no more. That's right. We don't need you. We don't re we don't need you around these parts. Okay. Um, oh, Roar. Yeah, by Katy Perry. Roar. I love Roar. I think about all of these songs that are from different eras. So this, this song makes me think of my daughter when she was, you know, like three, four years ago. And that song was super powerful. Roar. Um, I mean, if you just listen to those words, it's all about empowerment. It's all about, you know, like, look at me, look how strong I am. And I, and, and, you know, she steps into that and she feels it and, you know, roar again. It's the same as the first song. I'm woman. Hear me roar. And here's Katie making another song saying, Hey, roar. Don't mess with me. Roar. I'm powerful. Don't mess with me. I have a voice. Don't mess with me. I am strength. I am power. 
I am a force of nature and don't you dare mess with me. Okay, my last song, <laughs> well, this is, this is like my era, this is so cool, is I Will Survive. Okay, Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive. That's right, I Will Survive. As long as I, as long as I, as long, wait, I'm doing this, this music is messing me up. Um, as long as I know how to love, I know I'll get it right. All right. Got all my life to live. I've got all my love to give. I will survive. So this was a fabulous song for me. Because one, it reminded me of when I was growing up. Um, I, I'm not sure when that came out, but I know that I was dancing to it um, in high school and well into my, um, you know, my clubbing days. So that song is uh one of my favorites and <laughs> when then there, whenever there's an opportunity to get my female friends together like we did on thanksgiving to sing i will survive i will embrace that watching women sing i will survive is is very inspiring very inspiring so um we will survive. We're going to survive this. We're going to survive it together. We're going to fight it together. We are one together. And we will survive. And I want you to tell yourself that. Regularly. All the time. I will survive. I will survive. I got this. I'm going to beat this. I am healthy. I want you to continually tell yourself. These phrases, sentences, words. I want you to repeat them on, on a daily basis. I want you to sing these songs, look them up, learn the words, sing them, get your friends to sing them with you, sing them in your head, play them on the piano, on the guitar. Oh my gosh. If you can play an instrument, I wish I played an instrument. How awesome would that be? So yeah, I will survive. Just say it over and over and sing it. Forget about the guy. It's the cancer. Just talk to the cancer. Because you're in charge here, okay? You're in charge. You are the one that's going to tell cancer how it's going to go down and get out of your life forever. Just leave that key and say goodbye because it's over. It's over, cancer. Over. Okay, so quick recap. Um, Helen Reddy, I Am Woman, Stronger, Kelly Clarkson, Hit the Road Jack, Ray Charles, Roar, Katy Perry, and Gloria Gaynor, I Will Survive. Those are my top five Survivor songs I love to sing, dance, and listen to so share your survivor song even play it for me i love that a link to your song and uh you know i can i can i'll play those songs during workout wednesday i always do a song at the end of the class a workout wednesday cancer centric workout wednesday um song survivor song after to like you know have fun we can have fun with this song we can sing it we can sing it together and have some fun all right, all right, my fighters, survivors and thrivers, just know that I am singing these songs for you and with you every single day. I'm here if you need me, if you want to talk. I am a cancer coach, so just send me a message. Um, if, if, um, if you're struggling, don't be afraid to talk to somebody about it. Please do talk to somebody about it. It's okay. There's so many emotions that we go through during treatment. It's, it's really, really good to express yourself and talk about it. Okay, don't hold it inside. Because that holding that inside is stress and tension. And we, we don't want any of that. We, we, want, our, we want to be clear. 
when we clean, purify in our mind, in our body, and our soul. All right. Thankful Thursday. Thankful for you for coming, for joining me. Uh, this is super fun. Maybe we'll do like a dance party. Oh, we should do that. Like a Thursday night, thank, a thankful Thursday night dance party. It's a great idea. Let's do that in the new year. We could do a song every Thursday. You down? You down for that? Yeah, that'd be fun. All right, gang. Um, what's tomorrow? Oh, tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. I have a special guest coming on the cancer show and um, this lovely lady is um, from over the pond from Ireland and she's going to be sharing her cancer story. It's so important to, um, to hear other people's stories because they're so different and yet so similar. And it's just, you know, when I, when I was first diagnosed, I started searching for people. I want to hear their stories. I want to hear their survivor stories. You know, I wanted to know that I could beat this. And um, just hearing people's stories is so motivating to me. So motivating and uh, so inspiring. So that's why, you know, everybody's story is important. Everybody is a superhero story, has a superhero story. And, um, if you have a story that you would like to share and you'd like to share your journey, um, please let me know. And, um, I will, uh, get you on the cancer show, which is right here on the cancer show, Facebook live. All right, everybody. I am healthy. I'm happy. I am whole again. I am healthy. I am happy. I'm whole. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you for watching. And I will see you in the morning or the afternoon or the evening, depending on where you're at in the beautiful world, WWW, World Wide Web. Say that 10 times in a row. Let me know how that goes. Okay. Thank you. I'll see you soon. Bye. <laughs>